This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So, hello guys. Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be seeing what is browser exploitation framework and also at last we will get to know how easy is it for hackers to hack our browser so if you've got a question that what this framework can do so the answer is it can do anything yes I'm not joking it really can do anything so if you want to hack someone and social engineering don't comes to the mind it can't be the case so from this framework we can crack check all the social media accounts on client browser and once detected we can launch a pop-up to fool our victim not only this we can do much more than this it's just on one attack which I have told you so let's get started on today's video so here we have our attacker sh attackers machine running and let's assume that Firefox is our victims browser and Chrome is our attackers browser so let's separate these okay so let us open our terminal and once the terminal is running so let me increase the size sorry okay so and now the terminal is running we will move to our browser exploitation framework directory so for that and so now we will execute beef which is browser exploitation framework so for that let's execute it So wait. Okay. So let's open the link. Okay. So it has a web user interface which lets us log in to Beef from our browser. So let's up login into this okay so now let's open this in a victim's browser and now uh, let's copy the link and send it to our victim and now we are ready to go you can also see on the left that left hand side it has an online browser and some offline browsers so offline are those machines which we have uh, exploited earlier and the online browser is that which is our victims browser so So when a machine is connected we will be able to see the machine here so from this you can get to know the IP address of the machine like here you can know the IP address of the machine and its browser and some basic info like the browser which our victim is using and the operating system he is using and also in the details section 
we will get to know victim's browser much more and we'll get its info like the you can see here it has hardware screen size so its victims machine height and its weight width so you can see much more information like it's using Linux hardware GPU vendor is Intel and it's uh, let's see what we can get so browser cookies browser name that is Mozilla it's Linux and so what is the time in our browser that also we can see like if it's in another country we can also get to know that so let's move to the commands tab and here we can see a lot of modules so let's try some of these so let's first see that our victim is authenticated to which social media site so for that open your networks tab and uh, and open detect social media net social networks okay so and from here execute the command so let us see what it will give us the result okay so we can see that it is not authenticated to gmail not authenticated to twitter and also not authenticated to facebook so as in our case our victim is not not authenticated to any of these sites but if say he is authenticated to one of these sites like say facebook so what we as an attacker can do was so let's move to the social media engineering tab and click on pretty theft so here you can execute this command like for Facebook so let's try it for Facebook and execute the command so what happens here is a victim browser is that it will pop up a Facebook session timed out message and asks our victim to re-log in on his or her Facebook account and as the victim logs into his account we will get his credentials so let's see user at cyberhacks.com cyberhacks and login so let's see as you can see we have got our victims username and his password too so as you can see that how easy is it to hack someone also you can do is you can change it to let's say we want to like we got our victim and we can see his OS to be Windows so let's do it for Windows and execute the command so now and user will be asked to enter his username and password so user and password so as you can see we also have got these details and by this you will get a idea about how harmful is this 
four. So let's also see something else like we can let's send a, a victim a pop up notification message like you have been hacked by cyber hacks and execute the command so as you can see it's saying you have been hacked by cyber hacks also you can send your payload here and it will directly download the payload on victims browser also you can see that you can upload any file start recording audio and also much much things and like you have seen that victim has got a alert message and you can do much more things on your own on beef so as you can see that how easy is it to hack someone and most of us think these are just some technical problems like that one which we thought of like this one like this one. so most of the people think that it's just a technical problem and uh, our Facebook session is timed out and they will log in as their email and password and give attacker their info so please be aware of these type of tricks and be aware of social engineering attacks also the video on our channel are for educational purpose only don't use any of the trick shown on this channel for unethical purpose it's just for you to understand how cyber security and how you can protect yourself from hackers and help yourself and your family members so that is it for today guys hope you all like the video and if so please leave a like below and subscribe to my channel and also please comment down below if you learned something new today so till then 